Good morning, Mr. Toms. You look so comfortable in there. Usually at this time in the morning, you're jumping on me, meowing, saying you want to go outside. Are you feeling ill? Do you got the corona? Do you? <sighs> well, good day, everybody. It's time to uh, tackle the other side of the Ford. My lower control arm should be here today, according to the tracking, but I somehow suspect it's most likely not going to be here until tomorrow, which is fine. It's a lot of work to remove it, and uh, it is what it is. I just finished having a shower. It's early morning still. Came outside of the garage. Tomcat's outside. A little concerning because uh, he's always up first thing in the morning, jumping on me, meowing, and today he just uh, didn't want to get up. He's outside in his kennel, but... I suspect he's not feeling well. Good morning. You want to go inside? No, you're not feeling well? Dumb cats? Oh, that's a big yawn. Always remove the nut before you decide to bust it free. So I just got a bunch of dunnage there. I was going to pull the brake caliper off here. Come on. And then this happens, the ball joint breaks free before you get the nut off. You need to grab the grinder and cut the spindle free. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Shut her down. Look at that upper control arm ball joint in my F-150. I say she's a little pooched. I'm actually quite surprised that uh, it didn't pop out. Holy crap. That's brutal. The lower control arm still had some grease in it, but uh, that boot was all torn. This side's all torn out. The uh, Lower control arms with the courier as we speak. Should have it soon. I got a new upper. Man, I just replaced all this not that long ago. And I'm doing it again. All right, just moved all my tools just inside the garage door so I can close it, play the waiting game, and work on my IWE, get that ready. You can tell right now that grease is definitely contaminated with dirt and crap. When I put them in a few years ago, they were white. And now the grease is all black. Let's clean that up. There's needle bearings in there, kind of wiping there too. Cause dirt is going to cause an issue where we're not going to get vacuum. And this is where I'm telling you is be liberal with the grease. Don't be shy with it at all. Coat that grease everywhere that you can. That's it. I've done all I can do until lower control arm comes in hopefully soon there's with the courier at 11 o'clock it's now two in the afternoon sooner I get it sooner I can my hair doesn't have its messy style 
You know, cause I had a shower first thing this morning, but if I leave my hair for a day, then it gets crazy, but let's see how Tomcat's doing. He's probably sleeping, but I'm hoping he's not sick as he was not being his usual self. Tomcat, you're up and moving around. That's a good sign. And I was thinking maybe you're not feeling well. And are you feeling okay? And are you? You're so loved, Tomcat. So loved you are. Tomcat's the part game. Are you sniffing it out? Are you? Do you approve of it? Do you? It's got the lower control arm. Fucking shipping. Put a dent in it. <sighs> Tried straighten it out, but I don't want to fuck around with it too much. I don't know how much, if anything, that's going to cause. I just popped the ball joint out of this one. And that's the one it came with. And then and the other one, I put these heavy-duty ones in, so I might as well have matching sides. Can't forget to use the 50 bottle of retainer compound on the new ball joint. And here we are. Control arms in. Heavy duty ball joint. Let's get this thing. Guess I should probably get the uh, sway bar link up in there first before I do anything. It's running a vacuum test. And it looks like we're holding vacuum, which is a good sign. Oh, that's it. Both sides are done. Get all my tools on there. Gonna clean them up. I'm gonna go for a quick test run first. Just doing some back alley driving, and yes, definitely sounds better. Before you'd hear that ball joint popping sound, but that's all quieted up now. Doms, you're not being your usual self today. No, I need to take you to the vet. And we're gonna see how you are tomorrow. And I'm Gats. What's the matter, buddy? I know. Nope, you're not sick. Dom Gats. Big yawn. Thought you want to go outside. You can't run down the landing and go outside at the same time. Come on. Come on. You gotta come back up. How else can I take you outside? Dom Gats. Are you ignoring me? Doms. It's been quite the journey so far. Just gotta do these spark plugs. And then back to work on the old Jeepo. It's been uh, being used to store my cameras and face shield at the moment. Just got the pick and pull. Let's see what they got in here. I've always toyed with the idea of a camper van, but the more I look at how squished those engine compartments are, it kind of makes me want to change my mind. What I'm looking for is a good half shaft or try to snag a rack and pinion that has been recently installed. How does that even happen? Got this high top in this van for Fedor. If you work on that for his Ford. There's a few half axles in there. No shortage of those when the time comes. I shouldn't say my boots torn, but you could tell it's wearing in the ribs that pretty soon it'll eventually rip. But uh you can pull the axle out without tearing apart the front end again. Just gotta take the bolt off the strut at the bottom, slide it forward, and then kind of wiggle the axle out, which will help out because uh, I noticed it yesterday and I wasn't gonna play that game again. So I'll deal with it when the time comes, or before winter. Yeah, look what came in today, HP tuners. Maybe I could piss around and See if I can get that tack to work with that trick. But uh really want to do the spark plugs in the Ford. 
Actually, I still might do it. Looks like it's gonna rain. Doesn't look like it's gonna rain. I don't know what's going on. I'm just reading the entire data right now. So I'm gonna try this trick and trying to use the Novak emulators that if uh, they take the TAC output, high and low, change it to one, write it back, and then join the LS TAC wire, cam and crank sensor wires from the Jeep together. That should work, let's find out. So now I just changed that one to one. So now we're writing. And then we're gonna see what's gonna happen. So I got the Novak emulator unplugged, created this three wire jumper, got it connected to the appropriate pins and see what's gonna happen. Those are the three wires tied together. I guess we're gonna find out if we're gonna have tack reading or not. It doesn't appear like that trick works. So just pissing around. Got the Novak emulator fired up again. I tack output was default with six. For V8, it's supposed to be three. Change that. My tack's working right now, but I guarantee you, once I turn it off, then I gotta put that jumper back. I guarantee you the tack still will not work because that's just how things roll around here. Still does not work. I hate going back into the harness, but I just Cut the pull-up resistor. And now I'm gonna see what's gonna happen. Because the instruction said if you have the option HP tuners is to um, do no pull-up. I already had the resistor in there, so we'll see. I still don't think it'll work. This is why we try every option. And still no tack. Pulled out the pull-up resistor. No tack. Even plugged in the Novak emulator to see if it'd work without the pull-up resistor. Still no tack. So I just rechecked the harness. Cam and crank wires. Going back to the plug. Checking resistance. They both check out. Doing the Novak emulator method, doing the HP tuner method, pull up resistor on or off, still nothing. This one's got me baffled why this will not work. So this is interesting. I set the resolution to 5.5. I'm reading some sort of tack now. All right, time to shut her down. Piss around with this too long already. All right, everybody, motherfucking beer time. Gonna have some chill cute, gonna shut her down. I am baffled, but the gears have been turning. So, use a Novak emulator, can work, then not work. Using HP tuners, can work, not work. Kinda leads me to believe that the issue could be on the Jeep end. Went through, checked my wires for the cam and crank, back to the computer they test out good tested the grounds but for some reason some reason something must be off somewhere because I'm mind blown I don't know what the fuck at this point is going on 
I've been troubleshooting everything. Still no luck. But anyways, I'm going to end the video here. If you guys have any questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one. It's not supposed to rain till tomorrow evening. So maybe I'll get the spark plugs done in the truck. Then work on something different on the Jeep. Anyways, fuck, I gotta go.